Florida. Miles of sugary sand beaches, gorgeous sunsets, and lots to do. But there's another side to the Sunshine State, a green side. Take Tampa Bay, for example, with its 335-acre family entertainment park in central West Florida. Today, that park offers more than just thrilling rides. It has one of the largest zoos in North America, and it's home to nearly 300 species. The way it used to be in zoological settings, it was cages and cement. And now the trend is to go away from that to get to the natural habitats. In 1992, when we built the Miami Reserve, it was the only one you'd find here in the States or probably within the whole world. And it, it fashioned itself of Africa with multi-level terrains, waterfall, and it was completely edible for the animals. They'll sit up at the glass quite often where we have face-to-face -face viewing with them and sometimes the only thing separating you is that inch and a half of tempered glass that's right there. Our latest birth here in the chip habitat is Mwanzi. Now Mwanzi is Swahili for a type of bamboo found in Africa. He's developing very quickly, he's getting quite independent, he's starting to eat solid foods on his own, and actually going and taking foods from the other individuals saying that he wants that, which uh, is really neat. Along with the Great Ape Domain, there's a 15-acre self-guided walk and a safari ride on a 65-acre Serengeti plain where animals from elands to vultures and rhinos roam freely. Some are enjoyed from a distance, while others can be up close and personal. There's a little bird up here, two little birds uh, in the pine tree. Shh! Because bird watching along Florida's nature coast provides amateur birders with an opportunity to see unique and indigenous species found in central west Florida. Patience and a pair of binoculars are about the only thing you'll need in Wikiwachi State Preserve. That and perhaps a few tips on bird calling. You go, psh, 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 psh. good. Psh. Honeymoon Island State Park near Clearwater is another opportunity to enjoy an area of Florida that is gaining national recognition as a leader in ecotourism. We are in a very fragile environment. This barrier island being a state park is very protected, although it is very accessible. See the osprey right on the end of the limb here. On the nature trail, you will see on the osprey section of the trail a slash pine forest that contains over 20 active osprey nests. At Homosassa Springs Wildlife Park, you can catch a diverse collection of Florida wildlife. We just uh, recently finished a project called the uh, Wildlife Walk. And on that Wildlife Walk, you can see uh, various different species of birds, anywhere from hawks, owls, to uh, spoonbills, wood storks. We also have Big Lou Lucifer, the hippo that is now a native of Citrus County, and he'll be here from now on. Our captive manatee program is one of the most interesting things that the people come here to see at Home of Spring State Wildlife Park. And this is one of the only places in the United States that displays manatees in their natural environment. They have, they have no natural enemies. Viewing manatees from land is truly amazing, but swimming with these gentle giants can be the chance of a lifetime. At dawn, people venture down to Crystal River, part of a national wildlife refuge where the manatees come to winter in the warm springs. The wintering populations around uh, this week was around 325 manatees in Kings Bay, which is a uh, quite a few when you consider that there's only about 3,000 manatees left. Slipping into the Crystal River at 6 in the morning may seem crazy, but it's worth every second. Swimming with manatees, a perfect way to start another day of family fun in Florida. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.